Is Josh Hart leaving the Knicks? He just did an interview with Taylor Rooks where he talked about declining his player option, testing free agency, but he did say he loves New York and wants it to be home. But of course, when someone makes a comment saying they're trying to test free agency, fans in general are going to be a little bit scared. So let's break down why I think Josh Hart will be in New York. He explained it a bit in the interview talking about how his first free agency, he was restricted. It took three weeks to get a deal done, which obviously doesn't feel good because you're like, wow, like why is it taking so long? Aren't I a good player? So not to put words in his mouth because I try not to do that, but I think overall his point is that he's testing free agency just to see like, one, to see how it feels to be recruited a whole bunch of places, like have a lot of attention, because obviously the first time he didn't have that. That doesn't mean he's leaving New York. He might just want to, you know, get a little bit of attention. <laughs> it happens. That's okay. Like, remember when Kevin Durant, obviously, okay, he's not going to get the Kevin Durant treatment. But remember when Kevin Durant was a free agent in 2016 and every team, the Clippers, obviously the Warriors got him, but like the Clippers, everyone was making these crazy pitches, like doing everything, whining and dining him. So again, Josh Hart's not going to get that level of treatment, but he just, you know, it's just nice to be wanted. To go along with that, but maybe a little bit more of the reason is just to see what his value is on the market. Because if the Knicks, let's say, just offer him a deal, let's just say the minute it opens and he doesn't listen to anybody else's options, he may be able to get more money elsewhere than he is in New York. And it's not that he would take the money elsewhere, it's that he would use it as leverage and be like, well, this team is offering me whatever, $90 million for a four-year contract or whatever. So instead of the 70 million, let's meet in the middle and let me get 80. So again, not to speak for him, but that's kind of, I think, what the rationale is behind what he's doing is just seeing like, can I get a little bit more money? Because at the end of the day, this is his job, his career, and obviously they make a lot of money. And if he can get 80 million instead of 70 million and stay in New York, it's a win. I think he's made it clear multiple times that he's happy in New York. He wants to be there. I think the season went very well. He was so important to the team. and I think they recognize his importance. Obviously, him and Jalen Brunson are super good friends. And then you got Mikhail Bridges over there on the Nets. So they can all hang out together, the trio. I think he likes the city of New York as well. I just think he's happy here. He's just trying to get a little bit of leverage to get a little bit more money potentially. And also to see like, and again, I think the Knicks do value him and they will give him a deal right away, but also to see and just make sure that Knicks do see his value and offer him a contract right away instead of like his last free agency, where again, he said it took three weeks to get a deal done. So he's like, all right, if you're the Knicks and you guys value me, I need a contract on the first day. Like, show me how much I meant to you. So I don't think fans have anything to worry about. If you're a Knicks fan, don't worry. I think he's staying. I think the Knicks will pay him the money he deserves. There's nothing to worry about. Josh Hart will be a Nick next year.